Hello and welcome to another day's Open Heavens Reflections. My name is Andrea Onduku, and with my husband, Dr. Akbo Onduku, we pastor Chapel of Grace, which is a parish of the Redeemed Christian Church of God in Bradford in West Yorkshire. I'm so happy to be with you today, and I pray that you will be blessed by today's topic in Jesus' name. The topic today is How Persuaded, and the Bible passage is from Psalm 82, verse 2 to 4. It says, How long will ye judge unjustly and accept the persons of the wicked? Defend the poor and fatherless. Do justice to the afflicted and needy. Deliver the poor and needy. Rid them out of the hand of the wicked. Our memory verse is Romans 4, 21. Romans 4, 21. It says, And being fully persuaded, that what he had promised, he was able also to perform. That scripture is talking about our Heavenly Father, that whatever he promises, he is more than able to do in our lives. Hallelujah. We bless the name of the Lord for yet another wonderful day in the land of the living. It is also a great opportunity to continue to be blessed through the ministry of Pastor E. A. Adiboye, the writer of the devotional of which we reflect every day, the general overseer of the redeemed Christian Church of God. God has been using him to be a channel of blessing to all of us through the devotional in many ways. And we pray that the good Lord will continue to sustain him and enlarge his coast in the name of Jesus. It has often been said that when there is nothing to stand for, one can always fall for anything. And that is why it is good and necessary to stand for something. Our Christian life must get to the level where we can conveniently say like Paul, that nothing can move us from the love of Christ. The same faith was demonstrated by the Hebrew children in Babylon. When the king made an image for everyone to worship, the three Hebrew children told the king with every sense of respect and honor, that they will not bow down to the image that he has made. They told the king point blank that their God was going to deliver them. But they said, even if God does not deliver us, we will still not change our minds and bow down to the image. Wow. Esther also insisted that because of the cause of her people, she would go into the king at a time when it was forbidden to do so. She said that she was ready to perish, ready to die, if that would be the consequence of her action. What courage and faith she must have had to do that because she believed in what she stood for. Similarly, from the Bible passage that we read today, Paul affirmed that nothing was going to separate him from the love of Christ. He listed the number of things that could threaten his faith, among others, death, life, angels, principalities, powers, things that are present, things that are past, the list went on. Height, depth, or even any other creature put together cannot make him depart from the love of Christ. There was determination in what he was saying because many things will come and try to dissuade you, but you need to be firm and determined in your love for him. That is really profound. Paul was a man that was fully persuaded about his conviction and could do anything to sustain his faith in the Lord. Can you make the same resolute resolve today about your commitment to the cause of Christ? The Lord will help you with your resolve in the name of Jesus. We need to be determined. Sometimes if we take it casually, just like any relationship, we take it casually, we know we love each other, there's no need to make a fuss about it then it comes after some time that the love will die out. That is why we need to make a conscious effort and be determined to maintain that love that we have for him, to be fully persuaded that no matter whatever comes our way, we will not be dissuaded from our faith and you need to be determined today. Our action point tells us that the internet has become a major stumbling block to many believers. If you are a victim of this, break off and redefine your relationship with it today and use the internet to strengthen your relationship with God rather than letting it weaken you. And as you do so, you'll be blessed in Jesus' name. Well, thank you so much for watching today. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.